What's up guys, how's it going? Uh, this is a quick little video showing a 3D rendering of a dust boot that I created for an 80 millimeter router spindle head. Now this should work with any 80 millimeter spindle, um, but I specifically made this for my work bee spindle. And the whole entire point was this was versatility. Uh, you can change different plates there on the bottom to different applications. This one right here with the cone would be great for uh, sign making or anything that's not gonna penetrate too deep into the wood. So surface lettering or details like that. This cone would give you a, a lot of good suction right at the point where it's making the dust. The adapter here in red, this one is set up for the 80 millimeter spindle, four inch standard shop vacuum system. There's another one that I have created on the other side that's for the 80 millimeter and it's got the two inch vacuum for most uh, most standard shop vacs if you wanted to use something like that a little smaller. There's also two more plates here. There's a round one in the oval. Either one, there's a lot of people that like to use either boar's hair. You can attach that to the side of this or the clear vinyl. That'll work just as well. And there's two different options there, both the uh, the oval for a little bit larger area and the circle for most likely for the bristles because they're a little bit more stiff. They won't get sucked into the bit that's while it's cutting. The main idea for this was versatility, as I said before. One of your parts, like the cone part, if it breaks, all you gotta do is remove it. You can print another one, obtain another one, and bam, you slap it right on there's no expense in replacing the entire boot. Any one of these parts you can remake and replace if something goes wrong. Or if you wanted to make multiple ones, it's all gonna be interchangeable for different projects. The bolt pattern on this is such that it will only line up if it's oriented the proper direction. So if you guys get this together and you see that the holes are not lining up, that's because it's not in the right orientation. You just maneuver it around You'll find it when they all match up, it'll all go together like it's supposed to, and it keeps everything in the right orientation, right direction, flow of air, all that stuff. Also too, about having this come apart, if you ever get a clog, you ever get a large piece of uh, splintered wood that gets sucked in there and gets you know jammed in there, you can take it apart, you can clean it out very easily. So I just wanted to get this out here, show you guys for the next upcoming episodes of putting together this CNC machine. The links for this STL are available below. Also, these are available to be printed and shipped to you ready-made. All right guys, see you next time.